Welcome. Thank you. Former world champion. Thank you. Mrs. Miriam Slice Bakker. Uh, it's a privilege for me to have you uh, to me on this table. Mm -hmm. First debriefing session ever. Oh, what an energy <laughs> yes. about it this week. Oh, yeah. To have a debriefing session, what are we going to do? A lot of discussions already. A lot of discussions mm. already. And uh, well, I only hope with all your experience and knowledge that you will share some of your ideas about course, this competition with us. Yeah. For the viewers around the world, mm -hmm. and um, what was your impression of uh, yesterday's competition overall? I thought it was really, really special. Yeah. First of all, the, the hall was beautiful, the audience was fantastic. Uh, the couples danced uh, very well. I think it's very difficult not to dance well in an atmosphere like this. Um, I think overall everybody enjoyed it very much. It was great. It was great. Very nice. Yes. And shall we look yes. back a little and, and give and try to generate some positive energy again? <laughs> and I will ask our technical injury, David, to mm -hmm. please start We are going to watch the final. Couple finishing the fifth place from France. And Emilia, uh, if you would like to add your comments on this couple, would be most welcome. Yeah, this is a couple over the fifth year of dancing in the top, basically finalist. I think, especially when you look to this couple, the boy is extremely well coordinated. This is a uh, this is a boy that has even better feet than many girls have. But he likes his feet. So, so yes, I'm talking a lot about the boy. As yes. you hear, as I have, I'm not always thinking the same way as I when I look to the girls in this case. This, this is also, I mean, all the couples, of course, are defined extremely well. There's not bad couples in the final, let's be clear about that. But of course, you have to make choices. And, uh, yeah, the problem that I have with this couple is that not, not always there is enough balance for me when it comes to my own The crowd's favourite, yeah. and I always learned in, in, you know, in Blackpool or in, in the Royal Albert Hall, when we had the duel of the giants, uh, mm -hmm. the, the public always is right. Or? Mm, not really. Not really. <laughs> so the public is, uh, of course, uh, has... Uh, Feel something that couple can make something, but of course there's a lot more things to to judge. There's uh, mechanics, there's musicality, and this is exactly was the problem with me when it came to that. You have music for the viewers. You have to score them. Yeah. The music to music and choreography to music. Yeah. So if you want to comment, please. I remember that I did the uh, I must have done for that from nine point twenty five and giant. Which of course is a very high score, but uh, I could do this in jazz. I couldn't do this in a lot of uh, other dances with a simple fact. You see, the, the thing is, it's very nice when public goes crazy, but then it comes to the discipline of the couple, how they cope with that yeah. enormous yeah. amount of enthusiasm and energy. And when they came on the floor um, in the summer, when they were in the public and screaming, and um, to my scarlet with uh, the spins and the spins because of the enormous enthusiasm of him of course being the problem going on which is of course a fantastic feeling and the energy was so much he used he used so much energy that he couldn't keep uh, the control over his spins but not only the spins a lot of the stuff afterwards also the summer was the energy amount was too much for what he was trying to do. And when the energy is too much, also, especially the movement to music, doesn't really go flat. Thank you, Maria. Yeah. Do you have, in general, not only for the top six, but uh -huh. look at the 12, the 24, and even from the first round onwards, uh, so many nationalities involved yes. in this World Championships is getting more international every, every year. What about the general standard of Latin American dancing? Do you think Latin American dances is developing yes. for the better? Well, some yes and some no. I believe um, when I look to uh, the Latin American dances, especially when it comes to the women, 
And maybe I am very critical because I'm a woman myself. I remember very well uh, how I was educated. I think sometimes because of the sport fact, it's that uh, women um, have to become physically and energy-wise equal to men, which means that also femininity is slowly disappearing sometimes. Attention to legs, feet, detail, flexibility in body is um, not always there. And um, I think it's because also a little bit sometimes of the sport mind um, doesn't give uh, credit to the women's femininity in this case. Yes. Yes. And I feel this is very shame because I think the, the woman's power is definitely not in the muscles or in the in this in this case how they use the energy. I think it's definitely in the, the femininity of the woman. I don't say that the woman should not be fast. She should be fast whenever it's necessary to be fast. But if you have the dance and it's only about speed, I think this is a very clear statement. Everybody will understand what you're saying. Yeah. Do you have any suggestion that, for example, we started this conversation about the energy already when we knew in advance that we had to do the breathing session? It's a first, it's a pilot ever. I didn't know. I was happy when I heard that you were sitting on my <laughs> table. It's always a privilege with a former world champion. I'm learning all the time. Um, but in general, a debriefing session, you think it's necessary? Could um, it? Because the, the, time, the, the, the goal of this session is this pilot that we really want to combat uh, competition, manipulation. We have to respond yeah. the respect of the judges. And yeah. what, what do you think? Could, could, could this be a good method? Yeah, or do you I have think, other um, suggestions for I the last one? I think the judges that uh, maybe like you say, it's against corruption, maybe have not a clear mind of how they should treat uh, our dance sport. And we maybe would uh, think they make them twice before they judge. And they will be more taking responsibility and being considerate, uh, especially when they know they're going to be, they're going to have an uh, interview and asking questions. I mean, you always have, you can always give answers, but it would make you think a little bit more. So that, in that case, I think it's absolutely Great, great idea. Finally, is there anything you would like to say to the viewers around the world? Well, I hope that everybody is continuing to to like dancing, to feel the dancing as much as I do. And after so many years, I'm still in this business. Obviously, um, my passion for dancing is extremely big. And uh, I hope that all dancers in all over the world will feel the same and continue with this passion in the right direction. And we can battle this problem with corruption and with uh, people that actually should and maybe not so much be in the business. Thank you so much, Miriam. Thank you. Thank you for explaining. Thank you for your thoughts. I really appreciate it that you were here present today. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Really love.